everyone and welcome back to another episode of Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. Today's story is, thank you Patrick, just need to move you for a second, it is King of the Swamp by Catherine Emmett and Ben Mantle, published by Simon and Schuster. Now are you sitting comfortably? Oh, that was a very big yes. I'm so happy you are. So let's begin. The swamp was quite dark. And the swamp was quite dank. And due to the mud, the swamp really quite stank. Oof. You sure that wasn't you, Patrick? McDarkly lived quietly, all on his own, and dreamed of transforming his muddy swamp home. He had a neat garden, which had a neat wall. Each year he grew orchids, some large and some small. Some flowers were spotted, some flowers were plain, McDarkly, he cherished them all just the same. One day, as he tended a tiny new bud, he heard lots of someone's all ride through the mud. This here's where I'll build my new roller skate park. I'll concrete it all, cause it's stinky and dark. Oh, look over there, at that strange swampy thing. Yes, you, stinky creature, bow down to your king. The king and his minions all started to laugh. <laughs> oh, call for my butler to give it a bath. No, no, cried Darkly, the orchids will die. He wrung both his hands and he stammered a cry. If you could just look at the b -b -b beauty, the g -g grace, you'd see that the swamp is a m -m magical place. The princess rode forward. Grow orchids, you say? They'd help with my research. Do show me the way. McDarkly said sadly. They've not flowered yet. In a c -c -c couple of weeks, you will love them, I bet. Oh, Daddy, I have to insist we return. Just think of the marvellous things I could learn. Oh, all right, huffed the king. We return in ten days. He scowled at McDarkly. Now buck up your ways. The whole of the swamp best be bursting with grace, or soon I'll be skating all over the place. The next day, McDarkly was up before dawn. He rubbed his eyes and stifled a yawn. He gathered the plants and the tools he would need. His swamp was at stake so he had to succeed. He shoveled the mud till his shoulders were sore, then shoveled and planted and shoveled some more. The light was soon fading, the sun was soon set. McDarkly kept going, he couldn't stop yet. He worked without ceasing and time flew so fast that quickly he found that his ten days had passed. But as he was singing his flowering song, he spotted a something that didn't belong. Right there on the leaf of a small prickly shrub, he spotted a tiny and furry 
green grub. McDarkly was panicked, but what could he do? He thought for a moment, and then he said, Shoo! But just as he lifted it off with his paw, he looked all around, and he saw there were... More! His stomach was churning. He felt rather sick. He had to do something, and do something quick. He tried to remove them as fast as he could, but there were so many, it didn't look good. His flowers were eaten in one single night, and nothing was left. No, not one single bite. His swamp would be lost, and he tried not to cry. He knew he had failed, and he howled at the sky. The horses and riders returned the next day. McDarkly said nothing, for what could he say? But just as the king was guffawing with glee, the princess exclaimed, Oh my, good gracious me! Why, look at the beauty and look at the grace. This really is quite the most magical place. McDarkly turned round to see what she had seen. And there, where his poor ruined orchids had been, there weren't any furry, green, grubby little things, but hundreds of butterflies fluttered their wings. The princess excitedly made a decree. This place from now on is protected by me. This swamp is the first of my nature reserves. McDarkly will run it. It's what he deserves. McDarkly stood silent inside his heart soared. He knew he had rescued the swamp he adored. From then on, the pair of them often would meet. She found him some orchids the grubs would not eat. The plants that they made were so splendid and grand. The princess decided he needed a hand. It turned out the king had some butlers to spare. In fact, before long, she had him working there. The swamp was still dank, but no longer so dark, and never became the king's roller skate park. But darkly had proven that beauty and grace can sometimes be found in the stinkiest place. The end. Oh! <laughs> and if you turn to the back page, <laughs> there's a really, really funny picture of one of the grubs on the roller skates. That's really made me interested to find out more about the nature reserves near me. Maybe you would like to find some near you as well. Do let me know. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. It's goodbye from us both. <laughs>